Hello Windows Universe. In this video we will look at steps that you can take if you encounter the error 651 the modem or other connecting devices has reported an error in Windows. We will link an informative article in the description down below that will go into much more detail. As always, do not forget to create a system restore point before attempting any changes to your computer. Let's start by checking the hardware. Look and see if all of the cables are connected. If they are, then restart your modem. Turn off your router or modem for about 5 or 10 minutes, then turn it back on. See if the problem has corrected itself. We can also check to see if your modem has the latest drivers. Go to Device Manager. Then find your modem or network adapter, right click, and then click on update drivers. Once done, restart your computer and see if that solves the problem. Then we can run the network troubleshooters. In the search bar, try, type in troubleshoot, open troubleshoot settings, click on additional troubleshooters, and look for the network adapter troubleshooter run it. Windows will then try and diagnose the problem and if possible fix it. Restart your computer and see if that helps. The next fix we can try is to re-register the RAS PPPOE sys file. Open a command prompt as an administrator. Then you want to type in the following REG SVER32 space RASPPOE dot SYS. Hit enter. Once this is done, restart your computer and see if that helps. The next step we can take is to reset your TCP internet protocols. Open a command prompt with a admin access, type in N-E-P-S-H space I-N-T I-P reset and hit enter. The next thing you want to type in is N-E-T-S-H I-N-T I-P reset then R-E-S-E-T tcpip.txt and hit enter. The computer of course as you notice tells you to restart the computer to complete that action. When you're done with that go back to the system administrator command prompt and type in n-e-t-s-h-i-n-t. Now right here you want to if you have an IPv Four, you would type in IPv4. If it's 6, you type in IPv6. And the final word in the command reset and hit enter. Once that's done, restart your system and see if the problem is corrected. Finally, you can disable the auto tuning system. We're going to have to go back into a command prompt and Type in the following N E T S H I N T space P C P at set global global auto tuning all one word level equals disabled 
hit enter and once you're told the command has been executed successfully restart your computer and that should fix it now did any of these work for you let us know in the comments down below for more fixes to your windows system go to our website at thewindowsclub.com give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making your digital universe just a little bit easier thanks for watching and have a great day